the winter of life stirs memories. Mostanelli recalls kindness shining in a dark place. American and Filipino troops are reported making a grim last-ditch stand. Fifty-six years ago today, in 1942, Tonelli was an army sergeant, only 25 years old, battling the Japanese in a steamy Philippine jungle. We knew we couldn't win. We didn't have ammunition. The ammunition that we did have was old and there were duds. Only two grenades in 25 worked. Finally, 12,000 GIs gave up. The largest single surrender in American history. Men too weak to defend themselves were made to march 70 miles. You'd see them get shot, you'd see them get killed. It was a death march. 10,000 American and Filipino soldiers would die. On the first day, a Japanese guard demanded Mott's class ring. He kept pointing at it, and I said, no, I'm not going to give it to you. And uh, a couple of guys said, Mots, give him the ring, he's going to kill you. The soldier pressed his bayonet into Tonelli's neck. A life and death test of wills. Mots surrendered the ring. The Bataan Death March is not known for any act of kindness. But there was one, because of something that happened five years before, here in Notre Dame Stadium. Mott Tonelli was a fullback then with dazzling speed. Two minutes left in the game against arch-rival University of Southern California, he ran 76 yards for a touchdown. It was a moment one USC student from Japan would never forget. Five years later, on that jungle path, the student, now a Japanese army officer, recognized Tonelli. And he said, did one of my men take anything from you? And I said, yes, he did. He reached in his pocket and he said, is this it? Tonelli's Notre Dame ring. He gave me the ring back. Because he remembered one glorious run. The officer did something very special. He gave Mott's back a piece of his life. When you're talking about a war, you're talking about life. That extraordinary gift helped Mott's do something most of his buddies did not. He survived the ordeal with the ring and the memory of a single act of kindness. Bob Dotson, NBC News, Notre Dame.